Hello guys, you guys have seen me make a Happy Dotting Company uh, candle holder before. Um, so today I'm going to make another one. I've already painted it black. I unfortunately don't have the newer mold. Um, so I'm just doing one on the, the other ones that I've already done before. Um, so if you are familiar with Happy Dotting Company, you've seen these candle holders before. Um, if you haven't, rush over to their Etsy shop and Angela has some amazing stuff there to create some beautiful stones um, or candle holders or lots of lots and lots of things. Um, today I'm using Yuli watercolors again. I just want to show you what this does to a candle holder. I'm going to be using some silver or platinum today uh, paint as well. Um, but first, these are the chameleon set. Um, I'm going to be kind of incorporating a couple of different ones. I apologize that my camera is out of focus again. Um, but I'm using an Arteza water, a water pen for watercolor. Uh, and I purchased it on Amazon. Um, and it's basically a pen that you fill up with water. I like to use fresh, fresh water, um, like from a bottle or filtered water so it doesn't like get yucky in the pen because <laughs> I don't use it all in one sitting. So I try and use fresh water and then you just kind of squeeze it a little bit and water will come out. So uh, it's really easy to do watercolor paintings with it, um, but you don't have to. You can just use a paintbrush and some fresh water. That's all you gotta do. So I started off using some pink and red and now the way you can do this is it all kind of welds together, okay? Um, but if it doesn't, you can give it a quick spray with a mister of water, just a quick spritz so it doesn't run everywhere because a little water goes a long way. So I'm just gonna kind of maneuver this around. Notice I put like a bit of gold, a bit of pink, a bit of gold, a bit of pink, and there's some green in there and some blue. I'm going to be going back over and putting a little bit more blue on there, but I'm just kind of letting it run down the sides because those drips, the marks that they leave actually look really pretty. So I'm going to let it just kind of run down the sides. I don't mind. That's There's no like specific... You got to be careful with watercolors because they're very unpredictable. You never know where they're going to end up. <laughs> they are going to bleed into each other and they're going to blend and they're going to look amazing. But what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of making sure that the whole thing is covered and I'm going to keep adding more and let that run down. So this is like running down in the cup area where the candle will go. And I'm just kind of spreading it around, spreading that blue out. It moves around so much while it's wet. So you can you can just maneuver it and, and it just blends together and all the colors look absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna go around the sides now. I'm gonna add this is like, I, I guess, like a glittery teal. Um, once again, I will leave the Etsy shop link for Yuli watercolors. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And I'm using not only a pan that I bought, a couple of pans of paint that I've purchased, um, but also her little paint, uh, her paint dots, her dot cards. Um, they're li little drops of paint. And you get so many different colors and you can do so much with just that, that dot card. So if you can't afford the pans, you can definitely uh, try out the dot cards because they do offer some amazing um, stuff to your rocks. Believe me. And believe it or not, the more texture you have in your stone, the better this stuff looks. So you guys saw my last tutorial. I showed you um, a different idea with uh, watercolor background. This works for everything. Like you can, you can put watercolor in the background of your, sorry about the fuzziness. Do not adjust your screen. <laughs> I'm adding some green 
you can do whatever you want. And it just kind of all welds together. It almost looks, um, it almost looks like it's been airbrushed, but at the same time, it looks tie dyed. Um, and it settles in places and it runs down and, and leaves a design behind. So this is what it looks like dry. And now because there's um, like a little bend in the in the bottom. I have to do this part now. <laughs> so I'm just doing a little bit of teal and a little bit of blue and I'm just going to let it run down right to the bottom. And I'm just going to paint the bottom black. But then, like I did with my last tutorial where it was uh, just basically all about the watercolor background, I'm going to resin this. So once my watercolor is dry, I'm going to resin it, and then once that's cured, then we're going to paint on it. And we're going to figure out like a, a cool design to put on it. And I'm going to use platinum instead of gold this time, which is really abnormal. <laughs> but hey, why not change things up a little? Why not? <laughs> so just keep playing with it. Keep playing with it. When it dries, you can go back to it again and add more. Um... Just keep in mind it's gonna run. Keep it's gonna it's gonna roll down the sides of your stone, uh, and it's gonna roll down the sides of your candle holders. <laughs> so this is after I've resined it and cured it. It's been cured for a few days now because I got busy. Um, but you cannot see how beautiful this is by looking uh, through the screen of this video. Honestly, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so this is platinum. This is folk art platinum gold. Instead of Mayan gold, it's platinum. And it looks basically silver. Um, but it's got that same highly pigmented uh, color like the gold, the Mayan gold. And it really stands out. So I'm going to add some dots here and there. And you guys can do whatever design you want. Basically, uh, this is your... This is your canvas now. This is your new canvas. So you can do whatever you want with it. I'm just going to be random with it. Um, you don't even have to do anything else. You can leave it like this if you really like it. Um, it it's going to shine really nicely under candlelight, I think. Um, but who knows? It's just a different idea. Just to show you what you can do once again. Uh, using watercolors in your background. Um, I'm going to show you um, a little bit later in the video before I resin this a second time. Um, I'm also going to be adding some crystals to it just to give it some some more sparkle um, to make it a little more romantic when you light up a candle in there. Um, but I'm going to show you a couple of backgrounds that I've made um, with some of the new paints that I've made. So for this one, I've used Yuli's amazing watercolors from Etsy. Um, Jeannie, your watercolor, it's breathtaking. I love it. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to use mine, the ones that I've created recently, just to show you um, some different... Just putting the colors in different places really changes things up. Um, and then you have like a, a beautiful background to work with, um, but it's really not a whole lot of work. It's actually really quick and easy. It dries really fast. Um, so once you're done your watercolor background, you can, you can seal it and save it for later and decide what you're gonna do to it, or um, you can start painting on it right away. And then, when you seal it, that's when the magic's gonna happen because the watercolors, they just, they're like, boom. <laughs> that's, all I, that's all I can explain it as. It really does just, it's breathtaking. And if any of you have recently purchased any of my watercolor background stones from my Etsy shop, please say in the comment how beautiful they are, please, because I know I know, I have a hard time letting them go. They're so pretty. <laughs> I'm now doing foam grips and, and all sorts of watercolor backgrounds. So it's just so pretty. How can I stop? How can I stop? 
So I'm doing like a fairly simple design. You can slow this video down. Um, I believe at the top there's like a little play button or a pause button and you can, or maybe even like three little dots. You click on it and you can adjust the speed. So if this is too hard for you to follow, definitely slow it down or pause it. I'll still be here. <laughs> Basically, this is yet another one. I wanted to show you that you can use the, the metallic watercolors on handmade stone um, as well as real stone. But it always works best um, on a black surface. So make sure you paint your real rock or your handmade stones or candle holders or dishes or, or whatever it is that you want to paint with metallic watercolors, always paint them black first with matte black paint, matte black acrylic paint. Um, then that, and, and use a sponge as well um, to get rid of any brush strokes because that metallic paint will settle in all of your little brush strokes and it will take away from its beauty. So uh, just use a sponge to smudge out all your brush strokes and then use your metallic watercolors once the black paint is dry. So this kind of looks like, like a fly, <laughs> like little flies. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm just kind of putting a random design on here and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm not going any further because you can't really see past that little bump in the um, like the curve of the candle holder. So I'm just going to bring some dots down coming from the larger dots, um, but I'm not going to do anything else down there. And this is fairly simple. I'm just trying to keep it as even as possible. Hopefully everything looks similar but not exact because <laughs> I'm not using any kind of measuring tools although Happy Dotting Company has some really good templates and um, like stencils that you can use made out of like silicone and it drapes onto your stone so that you can trace it easily. Um, handmade stones and real stones. So definitely check out Happy Dotting Company for all sorts of rock painting needs and tools. I'm just doing like a little curly cue. See how random this is? Like, it's do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. If you think that I should have used gold, I'm sorry. I miss you, gold. I did not break up with you, gold. <laughs> so I'm doing, I'm just walking some bigger dots around these circles or these bigger dots. And then I'm just gonna bring some dots down. But I'm not, I don't really wanna do too much because I'm gonna be adding crystals. And there's also a lot going on already with the background. So it's just going to be like a gem covered in a strange design. <laughs> And I couldn't find a candle, so it's not like I can show you how it looks with a candle. I'm going to look still prior to the end of this video. I'm going to look again. <laughs> so I'm just walking some dots down. I'm not going to go any further, and I'm going to paint the bottom black. I'm just going to sponge on some black, and, and then it's going to be um, pretty much ready to go, except for adding these black dots. Certain places are going to have a black dot, and then I'm going to be adding crystals. So you'll see black dot, black dot. Try not to smudge your previous work <laughs> by doing this, and make sure your gold or platinum or silver is dry first before you add your black. And then once that's dry, I can use Mod Podge or glue, um, or triple thick gloss or glaze and I can just add my my crystals at that point so everything's dry I think we're ready <laughs> we're ready for the Mod Podge and the flat back Swarovskis these ones are kind of like Aurora um, looking they're they're colorful and pink and coral and they're really really pretty and I think they'll go really nice with 
this uh, with the colors that I've chosen for the background. So I'm just adding some glue to each dot. I put too much on one of them, so I've been stealing some from it. <laughs> um, and then I'm just using a little wax pencil and I'm pressing down the Swarovskis. And I'm just gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna resin over top of it so that those crystals don't ever fall off. They don't get picked off by uh, cats or, or animals if you have birds in your home or anything. Um, wherever this candle holder is gonna be sitting, I don't want anybody to be able to take off the crystals. So I'm just gonna resin right over top of them. It's gonna take away some of the facets on the crystals but it's still gonna shine and it's still gonna look really pretty. So we'll see, we'll see at the end. So I'm just adding bigger ones where the big dots are. You definitely don't have to do the same design that I've done. Um, it's just a lot of walking the dots around and, and a couple of pin stripes here and there. Um, but I tried to go simple yet gorgeous, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so I've glued them all on. I think it's time to resin. What do you think? But first, I'm going to show you some stuff. So these paint buttons that I've made by hand, I just wanted to show you what some of the backgrounds look like pre-resined. Um, just with these paint buttons, you switch up the colors, you switch up the uh, the pattern that you use and, and change it up a little bit. And it does wonders. All of these have been done, boom, magic. All of these have been covered with resin now so that you can see it a little bit better. But each one has been painted uh, differently but using the same set of colors. So I'm gonna have about 25 sets of my paint buttons going in, the ones that you see here. They're gonna be going into my Etsy shop today, December 16th. Uh, 2021 and they sell out quickly and I've had a lot of complaints that they're not there but I'm trying really hard and I've I've paid for and ordered more supplies and I'm still waiting so that I can make more for you guys um, but stay tuned I'm going to put more in and I will announce it on my Facebook page when I do I'll even announce it on my community page here on YouTube. These are just some ones that I've done different with different backgrounds. There's so many different things that you can do with watercolor guys. I'm just trying to open up your world a little bit, give you some creative ideas. Um, I can't get enough of that sparkly background. <laughs> Look, I found a candle. <laughs> it looks absolutely gorgeous, lit up with a candle. It glistens and sparkles, although you cannot see that it does. I'm going to have to possibly shine some light on this situation so that you guys can see all the work we did together. So let's uh, bring the sun out. Look at that. I still can't capture it with my silly little camera. Um, I'm not a photographer or a videographer. <laughs> so bear with me. This looks brilliant. It looks like someone airbrushed glitter onto this candle and then we we created a design over top. We just laid it over top like a doily. <laughs> it looks like, honest to God, airbrushed glitter. It looks beautiful. Um, this is going into my shop today too. I hope you guys got some ideas from me today and uh, you have more things that you can do with with all that metallic watercolor, don't forget, I'm putting some in my shop um, just so that uh, you guys can try this out. Make sure you start off with a black background. It always works best with a matte black background. Um, that way, the magic happens the second you seal it. The magic, honest to goodness. Oh, I just love it. I love you guys. I will be back in a couple of days with another one. Keep painting.